Hi everybody, my name is Prema and today I'm going to tell you about awful mistakes I made while speaking Turkish. Seven years ago, my Turkish wasn't really good because I was trying to learn it myself with the help of books and different serials. And now I use Turkish every day. This is my common language and uh, my English is getting worse actually. So if I make a mistake, please try to forgive me. But uh, that seven years ago, <laughs> There were lots of different cultural differences, th different differences, I mean, there were lots of cultural differences which were new to me. For example, the word Gümüm, which means my soul, my life, something like that. It's kind of intimate and flirty to me, but I didn't know that. And one day I had a small conversation with my neighbor. I was 20 something and he was 50 something, so he, I was like, uh, he was kind of, old to be his adult at <laughs> that time and he said something blah 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 and then okay good shooters gentlemen and i was so mad i couldn't hide my anger and was like how dare you are you flirting with me a lot it's like i am here a foreigner i came here by myself i have no one to protect me what was that and he, of course he didn't understand <laughs> And he was like, what's the problem? And then the other people, they explained me that there is actually no problem with the word Jenem. And you have to know before moving to Turkey that not everyone who calls you Jenem actually is flirting with you. <laughs> there is an unspoken rule that whenever you start to learn a new language, the first words you learn are thank you, hello, goodbye, how are you, and of course swear words. And I've heard a lot of swear words in Turkish, I can make a dictionary of swear words. And whenever there was a problem or something bad happened, people used to say switch. <laughs> and I heard that so much, a lot. And then one day I was at the restaurant with my boyfriend. And uh, I used to drink tea with lemon. Actually, this is my cultural preference. <laughs> and, and I have to ask to add a lemon into my tea every time because uh, people used to say like, <laughs> Hey, what's the problem? My tea is normal as well. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So the waiter comes and I'm, I'm like, um, Pardon, do you have lemon to <laughs> of course, I meant <laughs> one, one letter and such a big difference. I was like, I turned red. I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I, I don't want it. <laughs> ah, I'm so much ashamed. Well, that's okay, that happens. You have to be very much careful with the letters in Turkish because even one letter can change the meaning of the word. And of course it happened to me. I felt extremely bored and I guess if you speak Turkish you know what I am going to tell. <laughs> um, since my Turkish wasn't really good, I typed I am bored into Google Translation. I had a quick look. And I was like, ah, then, I'm not them, but, um, and everyone like, what? Do you know what you just said? And then, sickle them. <laughs> okay, the, the only one lesson was enough to learn the difference between E and E. Uh. And then the other day, I went to Manav. I was still thinking English and there was a translation in my head. And I was like, um, do you have bananas? It's like banana lar varma, something like that. I was trying to ex explain the way I knew. El malar falan and then pichler varma. I didn't I, I didn't answer that. I didn't know that peach means that peach actually is a bad word. I meant shiftali, shiftali larvarma, because I didn't see that. Peach larvarma, I said.
<laughs> I'm not. I'm not really sure that we understood each other because that happened in Pakistan, and actually there were lots of foreigners there. But then one week later, I I guess I was like, oh no. And of course, I have never gone to that one of a game. <laughs> One more cultural difference is uh, that uh, in Ukraine or in Russia, I mean in post USSR countries, whenever you sneeze, <coughs> people say, mm, where's that off? Be healthy, something like that, be healthy. And you reply, thank you, that's it, that's enough. <laughs> but in Turkey, it's kind of rude. So whenever uh, that happened to me, people said, Çok yaşa. and instead of, Sandigar. Yeah, the or have their bad. I was just saying they shake your lunch, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and then I learned that it's kind of rude, and I'm kind of selfish. So I mean, I wish health only to myself, and I don't wish health to other people. If I mistakenly hadn't replied, Chokesha, send the guard, yeah, have their bad. I am really sorry, and I wish health to you and your families. Choke your shame, she's bad. <laughs> the same happened um, when, when I mixed um, Russian salsa and ketchup shots. <laughs> this is rude. It's like extremely rude whenever someone dies and you have to wish Russian salsa. It's like, um, let your head be healthy. I I meaning, I'm glad that you are alive and it's a pity that someone you loved. Uh, died so don't lose your mind something like that because don't lose your mind because of um, bad emotions something like that i mean it has deep meaning but get me soon it's like i wish uh, something that happened uh, would be in the past it's like some is some cheerful phrase <laughs> and yes it's kind of it's it's really bad and I feel sorry that a couple of times I said like that when someone died I said get your shoes. This is rude. It's very difficult to explain in English because um, actually there are no phrases like get your shoes and Russian salsa. But I think that people who speak Turkish would understand me. And the same about the phrase that also doesn't have the translation into Russian and English. Uh, is Sehatler also. Whenever a man had his beard shaved, you have to say Sehatler also. But I still I don't know the translation of this phrase. So I heard it as Sehatler also. Something like let your freshness alone for hours. Something like that. <laughs> and then I was writing, I was typing my bed. Berber and Gererum, ah, Sehatler also. Uh, if you know what does it mean, Sihatler also, can you please comment below? <laughs> because it's something cultural and it's very nice, but it has no connection with salt or Sihatler. And also, <laughs> it was uh, really weird and I felt ashamed, but one of my friends uh, had the other friend, we had a meeting, three of us. And he was calling the other guy Moruk, 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 Nasasan Falan Filan, something like that. And um, I thought that Moruk is his name. <laughs> and I was like, Hi Moruk, how are you? Is everything okay? <laughs> and of course, he was also, uh, there, there was an uh, age difference between us. And then, I mean, like months later, I learned that Moruk is. An old man. <laughs> it's kind of bra, something like that. Bra or or. You cannot call someone moruk if you are not really close. And I think that I believe that moruk is for man. They call each other moruk. <laughs> so yes, moruk is not a name. That's a P. And also, whenever man said. Uh, I don't, I don't really remember who said that. Uh, a lot of top, Nassassan. And I was like, top, like, th top, like, top celebrities, something like that. And then I learned that, huh, like actually he was saying, hey, gay, hey, 
you weird uh, something like that <laughs> it was not nice i said hmm i really appreciate your friendship you you have very good relationship <laughs> you call each other top it's really nice <laughs> it's like top manager or something like that mm, yeah i don't call each other top <laughs> um okay actually top is a ball i don't understand the connection between top ball and gay but whatever let's leave this and also why do you have so many words for the word jump i knew that jump meant uh, ziplamak and atlamak and i didn't know that it also means sitramak yeah i'm not sure i'm not sure about that because one day i was at yoga class and our hoja said Şimdi de sıçrayarak bir pozisyona geliyoruz. Everyone jumped and I was like, Pardo? Nasıl? How? What? Because I was like, I understood it like, Şimdi sıçarak. <laughs> and everyone jumped and I was like, What? Did I just heard that? Was just me? What? <laughs> so, yes. There are lots of words and I don't use this because this one is tehlikeli. <laughs> yes, Zuplamak and Atlavak is much better. And the last one is rather a pun. Uh, my mother-in-law gave us a cage of a bird just to keep it in our storage. And uh, this the name of this cage is Kushkafisi. And, and I thought like, hmm, this is so much weird. Why do you have a cafe for a bird? It's like, uh, is a bird chilling there or what? <laughs> it's like, cafe for a bird. Okay. And then one day, I, I was saying like that, and I, I said like, okay, yeah, well, you have lots of different weird, really weird stuff in Turkish. So I was like, okay, that's no problem. A cafe for a bird. And then uh, there was a cereal, I don't remember the name of it, but the uh, the name of the restaurant, Italian restaurant, was La Gabbia. And I was like, hmm, actually, I'm learning Italian now, so I'm just curious, what does it mean, La Gabbia? And I uh, typed that, and it said, cafes. And I was like, wait, so, Kush Cafe C is like, Kush Cafe C, not Kush cafe, see, like, arkadaşımın cafe, see, <laughs> the cafe of my friend. So, uh, actually, that would be much more romantic if you had a cafe for a bird, but whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I don't know what do you say. It's like, like, post, repost, uh, subscribe, uh, something, put the bell. <laughs> um, I hope just you had fun. And um, that's it, I don't know what to say at the end of this video. Goodbye.